You want to see my game? Okay. Uh, I need the uh, setting. Anyway, give me time. Okay. Lang Sung, could you help me? Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, this is a game uh, called Child Within, uh, a game in which you feel the senses, uh, like uh, you know the music and the visual effects um, synchronize with your interaction and uh, introduce the synesthesia, synesthesia experience. So, <coughs> I need the uh, quick, okay. Synesthesia, <coughs> synesthesia, synesthesia, whatever. So this is the, uh, um, the words used by artists um, from 100 years ago, like, uh, you know, Vasily Kandinsky, he painted, you know, from the, the, the sound of the music inspiration whole day. He, you know, walk around the city of Moscow and uh, what kind of, you know, that kind of inspiration, you know, he draw, you know, his impression, imagination into the one canvas. And uh, like, uh, you know, Bauhaus artists, many Bauhaus artists use this kind of, you know, uh, concept. 
So I can say, you know, um, you know, uh, this is kind of a census crossover feeding. So uh, I want to use this kind of, uh, you know, such a feeding into the interactive experience of the game. This is my mission now. So Child of Eden, uh, I used uh, this. Uh, this is this is the, uh, the new sensor technology called Kinect. So you have no controller anymore. You know, so it's like uh, you know you can use your whole entire your body and senses. It's like a conductor. So you know, it's very you know the new experience. So anyway, uh, hello, my name is Tetsuya Mizuguchi. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to <too> much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I've been creating uh, video games for 20 years. 20 years. So I want to talk about the future of the game. I want to think about the future of the game today. So, anybody play games? Oh, it's not so many. Uh, used to be? Used to play? Yeah, very, very. So it's not so young people here today. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of image do you have about the game? You know, good image, bad image. What kind of feel you have when you play the game? So I think the game <coughs> is kind of a mirror of the human, you know, the being and the human desires, human desire. You know, desires, instinct, dreams are all reflected. So game is kind of a design from, you know, our pure needs and wants, I think. So video game industry has evolved over 40 years history, you know, very dramatically, you know, it's growing fast. First game, remember? First game? I play the game when I was 10 years old. I played black and white, dot, beep sound game called Pong. Have you played? Yeah, not so young people here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I remember very clearly. So <clears throat> um, 20 years in my career, uh, I have tried uh, many new approaches myself. Um, how do I incorporate, incorporate the music, integrate to the game in, as an interactive experience? And, um, you know, how can I make people fun, uh, feel good, feel high, and uh, make the people, you know, um, smile, and uh, maybe hope and happiness? And uh, I learned a lot of things during this process. Um, this is kind of a you know, dream job for me. And uh, I feel very you know, happy, the happiness in involving the people in the experience I create. So let's think about the future today. So where will the game go after this? The future. You know, resolutions becoming getting higher. And uh, you know, high def, high res, sounds, you know, getting to 5.1, you can feel the vibration, yes. So, you know, you can feel the more texture. Many interfaces, new interfaces are coming, uh, introduced, and eventually, you will not be able to find the difference, you know, between real and uh, artificial image. So, I think so. So, movies, maybe you can touch, and uh, you can join the TV show, of course. It's all possible. I think it's soon all possible. And uh, I think the game will transform into interactive something. You know, interactive something from the game. I think the interactive something, sensory of something. Sensorial. Senses are very important for humans. Senses are, you know, what makes our life rich, very rich. In Japan, a few hundred years ago, you know, colored dye um, craftsmen, craftsmen, you know, they 
see the colors, not only they, they, they decided the name of the colors, not only, you know, eyes, you know, not only they saw, you know, he, you know, they decided the name of the colors from, you know, they touch the feel, the texture, and the smell, and the taste, you know, that kind of a whole sensory impression, they decided the name. It's very sensorial. And, uh, you know, Japanese color, you know, the tips, you know, it's like that. You know, very traditional color tips. You know, ordinary color, you know, tips like that. So, and also, you know, a thousand years ago, uh, do you know the koasobi, you know, in Heian Jiden in Japan, uh, the people played with incense, you know, smell fragrance, and, you know, thought about the, uh, you know, kind of a, you know, they read haiku, you know, they made the stories, and, uh, yeah, that kind of very sensual joy, and, uh, yeah, they really enjoyed about that. And uh, <clears throat> so when the sense cross over, you know, it evokes emotions and the stimulation, stimulates your imagination. Being a sensory experience, it's very strong emotion, sensory or chemistry, create emotion. I think in the near future, all games will be like a sensorama. Sensorama. I think this is one of the positive future aspects of the game. So let's think about the uh, another future aspects of the game. So games also have a very strong potential as a new form of media. Games can change negative to positive, you know. So when you play a game from some disaster or somebody attack you and uh, you have to change better, better all the time. So this is, you know, the big, big power of the game, I think. So <coughs> using this power, the game designers around the world are trying to make a connection between real and virtual. So using, you know, the, the, this potential of the games, I believe we can change the world. So <coughs> this is a game called Evoke, designed by game designer uh, Jane McGonigal. She tagged with World Bank Institute and created this game to save Africa from hunger, poverty, climate change. Gamers have to think of how to solve the problems. And 20,000 young people play this game. Some people took action in real life. This is a good example of how games can contribute to real society. And let's see the, uh, another example. So this is a game called Bang, uh, designed by, ideated by Dentsu and uh, Ubiquitous Entertainment. 50 million, 15 million people living in Cambodia, but the same numbers, 15 million landmines still buried in the ground. Gamer's mission is to remove landmine using AL technology and GPS technology on smartphone. If you can remove mine in this game, you can contribute to removing the actual long mine in Cambodia. So there will be a more and more games like this that you know, connect virtual and the real, life, real life, real society. So 40 years ago, you know, it started from black and white, just dot and beep sounds. You know, technology innovation led to you know, higher expression, making games more emotional and provocative. And now we have uh, better accessibility, I mean, you know, the network. Many people now playing on smartphone and the mobile phone now, you know, with the uh, unknown people, I mean, you know, using the social network. Huge, huge, you know, number of the people now. So this is a sign of the future. So the game is like a sponge all the time. So changing the form. It's very unique media. All the time changing the form. It's kind of you know, the mirroring the human desire and wants and dreams. So <coughs> we are at the point 
uh, where uh, the new interactive media is about to be born, just born, just born. It's like a baby, you know, just 40 years history. So future entertainment is like, a, you know, just maybe in just interactive or non-interactive. That's it, maybe. So if we can use this positive power of the game and reflect the positive minds like a mirror, I believe we can change the world into a better place. My challenge continues. Thank you very much.